What's up guys, this is Nico here with FightFitness.com. Uh, here to cover over some basic head movement, so our defensive drills for boxing. Uh, really boxing is our punches, our uppercuts, and our hooks, uh, and our straights. Uh, but also our head movement. So really that head movement is what defines boxing, Western boxing, traditional boxing. Okay, so as we go into our, our head movement drills, we're going to do our slips, which is side to side. Real fast movement, just getting that head movement down. Okay, then it goes into an angled one, so you can kind of step, lean in with your slips. Okay, and then we're going to go into a front to back movement, so slipping back, and we'll go into our bottom wheel. So let's go ahead and work with this today. Um, so if you're there uh, at home and work with me in your stance, have a good base, good grounding into your feet. You don't need to turn your feet, just your head movement for this video today. Okay, and then we're going to go side to side. And all you're doing is just taking your head side to side. So just like this, real fast. And what you're going to start to feel and experience is the deep longitudinal muscles that are really active in the neck. So we're going to help strengthen the spine, the cervical spine. It's going to help uh, relieve some, some pressure as you start to build strength into your neck. This will help uh, for you know, just all that stuff at work and everything. That. So just side to side movement. Let's go ahead and go a little bit faster. See if we can go side to side. Your hands can be down because again, it's just a head movement drill. Side to side. And the faster the better. Obviously as you start, you may be slow. And that's fine too. But you want to get real quick. Again, it's going to help strengthen the muscles of the neck, the skull, the head. Kind of lean in a little bit, lean back a little bit. And let's go for another five, four, three, two, and one. All right, very good. You can also switch your stance on that and do the same here as well. But we'll switch back and go into our next one. This is where we're going to lean in. So it's kind of like a bob. We're going to bob in and out, bob in and out. You're going to see this is like almost like that V step movement. Go in and out, in and out. The biggest thing here is that you're gonna feel a little bit of unbalance on that, that leg that's missing, right? We don't have that leg, so we have to lean in and build some strength in our core. So as we lean in, you'll get more obviously strength out of the core here. So and just to see, I'm leaning in and out, in and out. Okay. You're going to be kind of turning your shoulders just a little bit. This is like almost like if I want to hit you with the shoulder at the same time. But lean in and out. Okay. Now the idea here is if someone jabs at me, say you jab me from the left side, I'm going to slip in, slip past the jab. I might use my hand, the outside hand, to pass that. You throw the cross, I slip in. I can throw an uppercut. I can throw a hook to the body or an uppercut from that other side. those angle slips, okay? And lastly, we've got our, uh, our slip back. So we'll do this from the side here, okay? So if, if the jab were to be coming in, I'm going to slip back really fast, really fast, really fast. It's more of a backward movement than anything. And this is excellent, excellent drill for strengthening the inner portions of the neck and to really reverse that hunched back that we might start to have. This will help really strengthen the deep slip launch to the muscles. Slip back, slip back, slip back, slip back, slip back. Do that switching. Other side, which I would always suggest, just because that is really going to help balance out the body. fast as can, we get back. All right? And lastly, let's go over a bottom weave as well. So since we kind of lean in, all you can do is roll out. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that real quickly and finish out the video from here. But as we go in, we slip in, we're going to roll out. The biggest thing here that we're looking for is the shoulders, that shoulder, that cover, that low guard. Okay? So we keep that shoulder high, our secondary cover. We roll, make sure the other shoulder comes up. Roll, other shoulder comes up. Roll, another shoulder comes up. 
So this is your bob. The bob is here. The weave comes out from there. So roll. Back and forth. Touching the shoulder to your chin. Okay. Now notice here I have this low guard position. You can see in other videos. Keeping the hand on the chin. The other covering the body and the organs. Biggest thing here is that we're going up and down. Get that big movement. Big movement. Shoulder tight to the chin. Roll in, roll out. Roll in, roll out. Shoulder to shoulder. Shoulder to chin. Roll in, roll out. So that was a lot of work right there. Much respect for going through on the video. If you liked, please give me a like down there. Uh, subscribe with us for more videos as they're coming out here. And comment below with any questions. We'll see you guys soon. Bye,